So let's talk about this crazy high-powered Falcons offense, Rex. How would you go about trying to slow them? Oh, I, th I think the first thing you got to do, uh, two things you have to do in this game. Number one, you got to take away Julio Jones. I think that's number one priority. Uh, the obvious thing people are going to talk about is playing two man against them where you have uh, Butler. I, in my opinion, Butler will be underneath in a trail position. You're going to have safety help on top. But I also think you can't just do that and make a steady living with that. I think they're also going to roll their coverage in zone to Julio as well. So if he's outside, expect the Patriots to play cover two where you're not allowing free access. You've got to get your hands on Julio Jones. And when he's inside, you don't want to be playing cover two, so you're going to play cover four to him, which means, again, get your hands on him and disrupt things. But another thing that I think is of equal importance is you've got to hammer these backs. And so when they're offset, look for the uh, uh, you know for the Patriots to nail these backs they did it against Marshall Falcon in, in that Super Bowl you talk about 15 years ago um, and my brother talked about how important that was back then as a coach they hammered them period okay so I think that's uh, the other thing that you have to do yeah you, you said it was butching the backs I told right, running backs coach backs. Bobby yep. Turner that he's like yeah we just call it beat up that was the very first thing he told his guys you have to be patient. Don't get frustrated because you're going to get beat up. What's the view from the quarterback position? Well, I mean, talking to Kyle Shanahan, he, he was amazed at the flexibility in this, um, you know, Swiss Army knife defense that the Patriots have. They have guys that, you know, down linemen that can play linebacker. They got linebackers that put their hand down. They got safeties that can play outside. They got corners that come inside. And because of that, you can start to get confused. And so, like, in, you know, they have this big nickel package where they uh, three safeties. And last week, a couple weeks ago against Pittsburgh, it was 5-1-5 a lot of the game. So you don't know what you're going to get. And he said, what we need to really focus on, don't watch numbers. Like, that guy's going to do a certain thing. Watch what the responsibility is in the defense so you don't get confused. And so you, I think that he's going to ask Matt Ryan to get to the line of scrimmage and see what's happening and now find. Because the truth is, Atlanta has tremendous flexibility. There are multiple backs that can come into the game. they got tight ends that can go in and out. they can got uh, all, you know, so look for, but I think Butler's going to take Sanu and then put two on Julio is the way to do it. So I, I'll finish by saying, and seven versus three, the Patriots are famous. That, no they, that you can go up and down the field. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you've got nine points at the end of the right. third quarter. You're out of the game. If they can if, if they get in the red zone at seven, watch out because this well, team can do it. And, Steve, it's the number one defense in the National Football League in preventing points. And so you're exactly right. They may bend, but as soon as you get down there in that red zone, I think the Patriots have a huge edge in this game uh, because the way they play defense. And then come, you know, and, and I think that, Unfortunately for Atlanta, they've got to get it in the end zone because Atlanta's uh, defense, you know, is dead That's last the in the league in the red zone. That's you the have to score today. touchdowns. You know, so you've got to score right. touchdowns like you talked about touchdowns. earlier. So uh, yeah. obviously Julio Jones is such a major focus. What is it about just his style, the way he plays the game? It, it's everything. Um, since <clears throat> since he's been at Alabama, I've, I've watched him and uh, what he's capable of doing. You know, he's he's got the size, he's got the speed, he's got the hands. He's... Um, He's a nightmare, uh, and, and in my opinion, I, I expect Butler um, to be covering him. Just knowing Butler and knowing the competitor he is, um, I do expect him to be guarding him and, and have the safety over the top and uh, whatever the, whatever they feel they, they have to do to, to slow him down. But I mean, he's he's got every every tool you need uh, to to be you know one of the very best. Um, in, in my opinion. Yeah, very popular offense. Tom Brady admitted he lifted some stuff. He's been watching the Falcons offense. Well, a lot a of lot. offensive yeah. coordinators around the league are watching this Falcons offense. It, it took Matt Ryan a little while to get the hang of it. Pretty much all of last season. But now he's the MVP. Well, they, put, they put him in the shotgun finally. <laughs> right. yeah. His right. spot is in the shotgun. It's and not now it's right. Now, now it's working. Now he's the MVP. But Wendy, what I'm wondering is, what does it have to do with golf? 